Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. This is Aaron and Barry's show, episode 58. Today we're going to talk about fish. Yeah. We had some fish in Winnet Cottage, but one of the residents kicked off and the fish died. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can I, can I take it, Aaron? Right then. Hello there, this is Barry. I, you probably won't be able to see me. Uh, we were just, you might have seen some of my wildlifes. Uh, you might have seen some of my wildlifes. Uh, free flowing MCN and a few documentaries about certain things, but I'm going to talk about, uh, we were thinking of an interesting subject to talk about. My mate didn't come up with anything, so I thought about talking about fish. I, I thought about talking about fish. Well, um, uh, I think, uh, I'll start here, uh, I think uh, fish, I mean, in some of them little pools, the little green lakes, where you get round circle lakes, they're deep depths, they're very deep, I think it'd be hard to, uh, to know how long a fish could live for, actually live for a fish, uh, it could be up to... I think it might be up to 200 years old. I'm, I'm, I am sure of it. I am sure of it. Some of them outdoor lakes, but we will talk about fishing. Uh, you get, uh, you get a uh, chub, barbill. There's a new breed of fish called Xander, and then you get um, McCoy carp. Then you get ghost carp. Then you get the common carp. And you get stuff like a, uh, you get pike as well, what you call pike, pike fish. And uh, I, I know I know people that own their own lakes and are bailiffs, what you call bailiffs, what you call bailiffs, and stuff like that. And uh, I've seen some, uh, I've seen some. We went fishing somewhere in London, somewhere in London, and uh, we pulled out a carp, and it it it, it must have been about. Uh, it must have been about 80 kilos. It was huge, and that could have been 150 years old, for God's sake. It was, it was like it, it was like pulling out an alien. He's come out. We've we've done we've we've done nothing wrong. We've done nothing wrong to it, Alan, because Alan, uh, my friend Alan's uh, get against animal cruelty. Uh, he's against animal cruelty. Uh, we've done nothing. We, uh, we 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 lifted it up. I, I held it. My mate held it. And it's huge, fifty kilos. Uh, I mean, eighty kilos, and it was that—that that was a carp. And we've let it go back into the water with no problem at all. And uh, me mates never harmed the fish any time they went fishing. They kind of, you know, uh, released the hook and put it and pop it back in the water. But uh, uh, yeah, and uh, that, that's freshwater fishing. But uh, of course, you know, you, you've got. Uh, saltwater fishing saltwater fishing and uh, saltwater fishing and well you get the likes of stingrays uh, sharks you get octopus you get uh, you get um, you get place you get cods you get haddock you uh, get uh, sardines pilchards you get tuna you get the likes of an array of uh, basically different fish in 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 the in the salt water. What about piranha fish? Oh, piranha fish! Yeah, I, I've mentioned that on one of my wildlife before, Alan. I've mentioned it on one of my wildlife before. I've seen uh, wildlife programs on the TV, which I'm very good at my wildlife. But having said that, having said this, I mean piranha fish are lethal. Uh, fish I've seen I've seen that uh, they go out in the boat and it, you, if you get an older uh, an older uh, bone from the butchers and it's got a load of meat around it and you drop it drop it in the uh, in, into the uh, swamps they strip the bone within seconds the piranha fish they, they what piranha fish they do they can uh, sense blood they can sense blood as soon as they sense the blood, they go for the flesh of whatever meat 
it may be. But yeah, um, I, 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 bar bill, I've, I've caught many bar bill myself, but I can't un unhook them, so my friends unhook them, but I've caught many bar bill myself. And bar bill, that's fresh, going back to freshwater fishing, bar bill, they put up the biggest fight, bar bill. They actually put up the biggest fight. It takes half an hour sometimes to reel into the to the river to the to the river shore, to the river bank. It takes half an hour to reel into the river bank, and uh, to, to reel into the river bank. And that's Barbil. Uh, I do like the sound of uh, Xander, but Xander's a recently new fish. It's half one fish and half another fish. But I've seen pike in uh, rivers which are the size of basically like small trees you know like a like you know what can I say about a, about a four, four or five foot you know about four or five foot and they're, they're a beautiful fish they've got some massive teeth on them with pike massive teeth and uh, when you get the chub the McCoy carp the ghost carp the mirror carp uh, you, you get tench roach zander chub uh, there's there's something you might find interesting on, on a wildlife. Uh, I hope you pick my voice up probably because. Uh, but if you put the wildlife together, see, I've done about eight eight of them. So if you do put them together, you'll you'll find something quite interesting. Anyway, thanks for a Barry and Alan show. Hopefully, we got something interesting to talk about next time. This has been a program on fish. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.